guys, I just want to do a quick rigging tip tutorial. Um, and my crashed. I didn't even get to start. Woo Try again. So, if you're a rigger, you're probably familiar with proxies. So, what this video is about is skinning with proxies. Uh, once in a while, you'll get handed off a model that is an absolute nightmare. Like, we got some geometry on here that skinning with traditional methods would just take you forever and would make you go crazy. Right here we have a skirt which is a uh, double side down here and it ends on this pole and it's double side up here and the problem with double side meshes is that you get penetration constantly and it's once you fix one problem, you get another problem. So it's just a headache. And then we got this jacket that's sort of the same idea. It's double side everywhere. The pockets are their own geometry. The cuffs are their own geometry. And they're double side as well. And you just get penetration everywhere and we got this loose button here. Uh, ideally for a rigger, you would want your model to be one mesh. And things like this would probably be handled with a displacement map. Or a normal map if you're not going to be looking at it too closely. But instead we got tons of double side meshes and different pieces everywhere. So, I'm just going to go ahead and unskin all these. And then reskin them, and I'll show you what the default skinning does. Actually, I'm going to undo that. And to save some time, I'm just going to do the two biggest problem meshes. Are these two pieces here? Okay, so this is the default skinning that you get. Again, it's it's just hideous. Here's our penetration here. This is a inside face. This is a back face. And default skinning is just bad to begin with, but I mean, this is real bad. Uh, I'm just gonna load my script so I have some hotkeys that make this video easier. So you you get results that are just unacceptable. You just can't work with them. And once you start trying to go in with the paint skin weights tool, <clears throat> you get lots of problems too because you have two sides to worry about. You have to make sure that their weights are exactly the same or else you'll get the same types of problems. And it's just gonna take you forever. You have to keep switching between interactive and post mode so you don't mess up your weights. And it's just a nightmare. So. What you're going to want to do, if you get a mesh like this, is build a proxy. And again, proxies are just low res, well they don't have to be, but in this case they're low res geometries. And my proxy for the skirt mesh is just a cylinder pretty much. It's one sided, super easy to skin, and I actually uh, 
mold it out of a box, and then skinned it to my rig. And since it's so simple, we can get nice deformations. So now, if we just uh, go ahead and copy our skin weights, we can transfer the low res skinning to the high res. So I just did that for the skirt. And now we're getting really good results. And skinning that uh, low res geometry took maybe five minutes. Super easy. And modeling it took maybe five to 10 minutes. So it just made my life so much easier. And of course you're getting penetration here, but you know, there's only so much you can do with this model. Ideally we'd rig it with cloth, but for the type of project that's working with, that wasn't an option. So this is what we have to work with. And with a minimal amount of time, I got pretty good results. So I got such good results that I went ahead and did the same thing for the uh, jacket. Again, I just modeled it out of a box. You can even model in ZBrush if you want. And I just made it one solid piece. If you notice, the jacket is has like a gap here. I just made one piece here. And again, I skinned it to my uh, rig and it has nice deformations. I mean, they're not perfect. I got some volume loss here, but that's just because it's super low poly. And I did the same thing. I uh, went to skin, edit smooth skin, copy skin weights. And now I have some nice results. And if you have something like this, that's a separate piece of geometry, you can just select the faces, convert it to vertices, and uh, just modify the skin weights. So this will be spine one and spine two. So we will just flood, replace, maybe 0.9. We'll, we'll start off with one, and then uh, on spine two, maybe we'll go like 0.05. That way it maintains its shape. So I'll, I would give it more weight to spine two, but you get the point, now it's maintaining its shape. So that's not a problem. That just took like 30 seconds to fix. And areas like this, I get problems because uh, the model so low res that I took the skinning from. But something like this is easy to fix. You can just select your uh, joint that you want to be skinned to and just add. Just go ahead and add. Wait there. And then when you're ready to smooth it out, you go post mode, never smooth and interact it. And you smooth it out. Smooth it out. And with a little bit of cleanup, you get the results you're looking for. Much better. So that's basically it. And uh, at this point, you have your proxy already built so you can uh, hook it up to your rig if you want to have a proxy set up a low res proxy and it's actually uh, skinned but since it's so low res it won't be using a lot of uh, computational power so you don't really have to worry about it uh, back in the day they used to just parent the proxy pieces to the joints but we're at the point where we don't really have to worry about a low res mesh being skinned to the rig.
that this is kind of high res, so I would, I would actually kind of want to set up a proxy for it. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. Um, as I said before, I will be making a tutorial video on Fiber Mesh and ZBrush. That'll be my next video. I just uh, thought of this. I was working on a project and it's really bugging me that I couldn't get good results. And since I found something that's working good, I figured I'd make a video out of it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.